tough matchup, you know, losing to Zayn. Lost to him recently. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, Zane's just got. Yeah. <laughs> Zane is Zane's a young guy. Yeah. We'll see what Moon can bring to the table. Obviously, he's been doing it a uh, bit longer, man. These yeah. guys have had plenty of good bouts in the past. No reason to think this won't be an excellent one as well. Yeah. All right. Okay. Still living. Yeah, that's fat, you know, very aggressive. Ooh, oh my god, that's it. Just grab ledge. <laughs> yeah, just, just grab ledge. <laughs> Don't make it complicated. Yeah. <laughs> just grab the damn ledge. Very smart by Espat, not going for the up throw up air. He knew he kept the bad DI there from La Luna because everybody likes the up throw up air. But we smashed DI though. So yeah, he's know. like, nah. Ooh, Ooh wow, that up smash. Okay. That was direct. <laughs> wow, that was amazing by Espat too. He went for the drill grab instead of the drill shine because the shine would have not connected because La Luna oh. smashed DI did. Very Ooh. smart. Oh, trying to get that. Got the gun on commentary, man. Like, <laughs> I mean, I got it on right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's old. Oh no, that might be trouble. Oh, he's gonna make it back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Catch a little bit of a break. Nice got the relentless on his pressure. Backing up though, just a tad. All right, great, great short to not get caught by Marsh down tilt. Yep. Ooh. Let's see what he does here. Oh, okay. Yeah, try to go for the mix up. A lot of people when they land on the platform, they like to block in case they get up air from Mars. Yeah. Mm, burned him and then turned him. Oh, yeah. right, you guys just dancing around each other. Alona trying to find that perfect opportunity to get a grab. Ooh, yo, that's that's the don't touch me. <laughs> Most perfect shot of the shield. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the La Luna flubbing a little bit. He could have gotten some follow-ups there. Oh, okay. Try to get the down air into either F smash or reverse up E. Mm. Yeah, a couple of flubs from, from Moon, as you pointed out, man. I feel like oh, maybe a little bit of those first game jitters. Yeah. Catching up to him. All right, we're seeing those amazing texts once again. We saw it from Spark, and now we're seeing it from Espat. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. another, another terrific counter on the front of La Luna. Yeah. All right, seals that stock. Yeah, La Luna is one of the best barfs at, you know, getting counters and making them work. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good jump away. Nice pressure there by Espa. Almost getting that shot. That's fun. Okay, nice yeah. there. Yep. <laughs> Luna not approving of that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the patented head shake. Yeah. Oh, okay. Try to see if he can. He was in range for the tipper. Couldn't get it. Well, that looked like it could have been a tipper. Ooh, very nice. And very oh, Randall. nice awareness. By Espat, just waiting, shine stalling just one time, but the moon still picks it up. And here we go, one stock apiece. That's really good on the part of uh, Moon too, not letting uh, that kind of that little interruption from Randall deter him. Still very much so engaged in this game. Yep. About 60% though. Yep. Oh, oh my, my God. The, fact that he, the, the timing, the fact he had the time to charge it up was the difference. Yeah, so much lag. But the thing is, that was amazing by Espat to go for the charge. That was basically the best punish. But Aluna didn't even DI it. He could have lived that. He didn't DI it at all. <laughs> he just kind of went like straight up. You can't play for him, DJ. <laughs> you can't play for him. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine if y'all could just like fuse the... Oh my uh, god. Uh, Don't uh, get me started uh, on man. All right, here it goes. I like that setup from Espat. Uh, Espat's convergence, man, on Mark. It's ridiculous right now. You gotta imagine. And one of your running mates is cute for you. I mean, Oh my god, and of course, La Luna's known for getting so many Phantom hits, and he just got one, and he hates getting Phantom hits. <laughs> I guess I said it earlier, man, it, it goes both ways, but man, when it happens to you, it, it can be a pain. Yeah. And, you know, and me and you, you know, we're good friends, we're, like, we're no stranger. Like, he's not kidding when he says he gets maybe one too many of those Phantom hits at a tournament. Yeah, yeah, he really does. <laughs> Yeah, that's the setup that I was talking about. When you're at high percent, you go for the side beast to scoop him up. You gotta follow up. Amazing angle by s -Fat, though. Still living. Great DI. This is nuts. That will finally put an end to it here. Down to Finally gonna be enough to close out that stock. Yeah. That's the s -Fat, though. We didn't live in that 200. Yeah, so some people call that the, the Marthritis. Marth sometimes you can't go for combos when they're at super high percent right. like that. So it's very hard for him to get the KO. <laughs> Ooh, I like that by Espat. He tricked La Luna in that situation, thinking that he was going to stop at a certain time to go for his nair, and he overshot. Wow, not the best 
DI. I was gonna say that shouldn't have killed. Yeah, right? no, no, no okay. way. No. Yeah. You're my percent consultant. Really? <laughs> Real big. All he could do is go straight up. Yep, goes for the F smash tipper. Very nice by La Luna. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, La Luna knew that he was going to jump. Yeah, and he's shown that card a little bit too many times where he waits for his second jump to grab the ledge and S fat sniped him this time. I was going to say, like, in the whole interaction before that on stage, like, I was really good patience on Moon. He had the weight, it's just. Execution just wasn't quite there. Yeah. And as you said, he's showing his hand it made it a little too easy for SFAT to kind of pick that out. Oh. SFAT on the verge of going up 2 0. Oh. Finally off stage, yep. Had to go for the Marf Killer, yep. Into the get up attack. Oh, but didn't get the Marf Killer that time. Yep. Very nice movement from La Luna, but okay, great smash yep, DI. You'd have to stay alive, however, that back air the platform might be enough to help seal the deal. Yes, yep, it will. Yes, okay. It. Okay, 2-0 for S-Fat. Oh, yeah, La Luna flubbing a little bit, and S-Fat just catching him with his recoveries, right. man. Yeah, and I like that S-Fat is going for a lot of bears instead of up throw up bears, because you just want to get the person off stage. A lot of marks like to panic in situations mm -hmm. where they're off stage mm -hmm. at mid percent. So like, oh man. It's, it's even better when you kind of, you know, roll it with the fact that, like you said, like he's really predicting a lot of moves off stage, you know, comebacks. Yeah. As far as the like, guys gonna approach that. So, you know. Yeah, and La Luna yeah, flubbing a little bit too. Yeah. Oh, God, what an answer. One <laughs> 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 of those hits that you just feel even in the commentary. Oh, I like that, going for the extra laser damage. Oh, that was what I was talking about before. Don't go for the double jabs. I know it, it seems like you could always catch Marv, but... <laughs> it's not worth it. Marv. It's not worth it, because they can also easily cross-cancel it into grab. Oh. Yeah. All right, let's see what he does here. Oh, Ooh, I, I like, like that. That, that yeah. was slick. That was slick. Because the thing is, even if uh, he missed the up air, he could have probably just ran and got an up smash or a grab I after the up air. Yeah. So, amazing coverage by S Fat. Okay, try to get the four smash tipper. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that gra Marsh grab range <laughs> never sees its own. <laughs> okay, yeah, he, he got a little bit. Uh, too happy with that. Just like, a yeah, just a tap. Nice. Alright, amazing DI once again from S Fat still has his jump. Ooh, just slightly mistimed that down tilt. And it's S Fat's turn now. Ooh, that ledge grab. Yeah, yeah. Man. And that's that's crazy. That's that that mistiming on the down tilt just leading to a complete turnaround. Yeah. Obviously, very fragile lead for S Fat at 178, but still man. Yeah. Hey, turn around. Back throw, yup. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. When you're at really high percent, like how S Fat was, you could do back throw into F Smash. So even if the platform wasn't there, he was curtain. So unless he did the right DI, knowing that he was gonna get back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. Very oh, man, nice. Really time to shine, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little something. Oh no, you. Oh no, but La Luna could have made it back, but he just that missed. Time. Yeah, he just missed time. There's a B oh. and did an extra side B by accident. Yeah. Man, these couple, these couple little key flubs that you really been pointing out to me, I mean, you can tell they're really just a difference maker. If you put an S fat a stock ahead, when it really counts. Yeah. Yeah, these edge guards by S fat are, are so efficient right now. Ooh, oh, damn. that crap. Once again, he catches him. He, he's catching him his recoveries. Of course, you know, one of his boys also from CLG, PPU, of course, plays with him a bunch of times, practices teams and all that stuff. Man, I mean, and that, it works that out, man. Practice goes a long way, man. You know, I, I don't know, 